Haymaker, on July 24th, 2023, Etsy made an announcement confirming that they recently ran an experiment during the months of June and July with buyers to test different listing image sizes and ratios to see which one performed best. This experiment concluded that buyers are more likely to make a purchase when a shop displays square photos. Why square? Square takes up more space on the screen compared to the rectangular aspect ratios still used in search, allowing shoppers to see the product better, especially on mobile devices, which account for 67% of Etsy sales. Etsy states, starting in early August, listing images in your shop home will display in a square format. It's important to take note of the language used here. Etsy is only referencing the shop homepage in this announcement. Etsy also states, as a best practice, we recommend uploading photos that work for multiple crops and ratios like square or rectangle because listing photos may be used across multiple pages on Etsy, the best way to ensure your photo is displayed in an optimal way is to upload photos that work for multiple ratios. So shops with square crops performed best, but as a best practice, sellers should still upload photos that work for square or rectangle crops. Immediately, panic sets in and sellers assume square crops are the way to go. But has Etsy's recommendation really changed now that they've done this testing? Stick around to find out. If this is your first time joining me, my name is Christina Nicole, and I am a product photography coach teaching makers like you how to take your own high quality product photos that actually attract more customers and make more sales for your product based business. All of 2023, Etsy has been displaying your images in three different aspect ratios, 5, 4, 4, 3, and square. How your images display with an Etsy depends on two things. First, location within Etsy, meaning search versus your shop homepage. Second, the way your images display changes based on the device used. If you take a look at Etsy's requirements and best practices for images in the seller handbook, as well as the photo requirements from Etsy's recent announcement, you will see that as of August 2023, Etsy's image requirements have in fact not changed. While they have made a minor change based on location, which we'll discuss here in a minute, they have not changed their overall recommendation. Here is what Etsy recommends. Etsy recommends you upload your photos in a horizontal, also called landscape orientation, meaning your image will have more width than height. Next, Etsy recommends a 4-3 aspect ratio. Again, an aspect ratio is just the proportional relationship between the image's width and height, and you set this in editing under the crop tool. So for every four units of width, there will be three units of height at a 4-3 aspect ratio. Next, Etsy recommends the pixels be 2,000 on the shortest side. So at a 4-3 aspect ratio, the shortest side is the height, resulting in pixel dimensions being 2,667 by 2,000 pixels. Etsy states, images larger than 1 megabyte in file size may not finish uploading, especially on slower internet connection. So they recommend your file size be under one megabyte. Etsy also states, make sure your thumbnail images have enough of a border that they can be cropped to a square thumbnail without losing some of the product. The gold overlay on this image represents how Etsy would crop this image to a square from the center out. While this information is available to sellers inside of the Etsy seller handbook, I like to take it a step further by actually testing how Etsy displays your images across the entire platform and on different devices. As of August 2023, my testing revealed only one minor change. Here are the results. 
let's start with the Etsy app and how your images will display in search on smartphones and tablets. You may not realize this, but your product photos display differently on different devices. So on Android devices, your images are going to display as a 4-3 aspect ratio in Etsy search. And on Apple devices, your images are going to display as a 5-4 aspect ratio in search. But if someone clicks into your shop, your shop homepage will display your images as a square on both Android and Apple devices. When shoppers use a Mac or PC to search for products on Etsy within the browser, your images are displayed as a 5-4 aspect ratio in search. But if they click into your shop, your shop homepage will display your images as a square. This right here is the only change Etsy has made as a result of the testing they did in June and July. These results only confirm that your images will continue to be displayed in a lot of different ways across multiple devices. And while that is helpful to see, the part that's really important is understanding how your images will look across Etsy based on the aspect ratio you choose to upload. Let's start with Etsy's recommendation of a 4-3 aspect ratio. If you crop your images to a 4-3 aspect ratio, this is how Etsy will crop to display them as a 5-4 and a square. Keep in mind that they will appear as a 5-4 in search on a computer and on Apple devices. Notice you don't lose much of the image in this scenario. However, when Etsy goes to crop the 4-3 to a square for your shop homepage on all devices now, you are losing a significant portion of the left and right of your image. With this specific scenario, the goal is to keep your product within that square crop so it doesn't get cut out in search. Next, let's take a look at how Etsy will display your photos if you upload them as a 5-4. If you crop your images to a 5-4 aspect ratio, this is how Etsy will crop to display them as a 4-3 and a square. Keep in mind that they will appear as a 4-3 in Etsy search on Android devices. Notice you don't lose much of the image in this scenario, just a tiny bit from the top and the bottom. However, when Etsy goes to crop the 5-4 to a square for your shop homepage on all devices now, you are losing a little bit of a bigger portion of the left and right of your image. Remember, the goal is to keep your product within that square crop so it doesn't get cut out in search. Finally, let's take a look at what Etsy is going to do if you upload a square aspect ratio. Things get a little more complicated in this scenario, even though I was very generous with my product placement and framing, I am still dealing with the product getting cut out. Keep in mind when Etsy crops to a 4.3 to display the image in search on Android devices, the top and bottom of the image will get cut out. And when they display as a 5.4 in Etsy search on a computer and on Apple devices, this is what will be removed from the image. While most makers now think square is the way to go, uploading your images as a square actually presents the most challenges with your product getting cut out when Etsy goes to display them as a rectangle in search. Search is how shoppers find you. You don't want them scrolling past your listing because they can't see your entire product. Square is not my professional recommendation, mainly because it isn't the easiest option. However, if you choose to use a square, make sure you understand how Etsy will crop from the center out and make adjustments for those 4-3 and 5-4 aspect ratios in search. Real quick, before I share my recommendation, I wanna let you know I will be opening enrollment soon for my live challenge, Light. With Light, you will learn how to evaluate, diagnose, and cure your crummy natural light in as little as five days so that you can make natural light work for you every time you go to take product photos. I only offer this challenge twice a year. 
So head to naturallightchallenge.com and get on the wait list. I'll also drop a link in the description below. Now back to my recommendation. While there isn't a huge difference between a 4-3 and 5-4 aspect ratio, you still have to decide which to use. Either is fine. The most important aspect to all of this is understanding how and where Etsy makes aspect ratio adjustments and how that affects the images you upload. You don't want your product getting cut out in search. I know, I already said this. I probably sound like a broken record, but at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter how you upload your images as long as you understand how Etsy will crop them. But if you're like me and you want the simplest solution, my professional recommendation is to use a 4-3 aspect ratio while keeping your product inside the square frame. Here's why. First, this is Etsy's recommendation. They don't just make recommendations for no reason. Second, most non-photographer makers are taking their product photos with their smartphone. When you turn your smartphone sideways to shoot in landscape, as Etsy recommends, your camera will produce an image that's already in a 4-3 aspect ratio. So by using a 4-3 aspect ratio, you can easily frame your product while shooting, resulting in less editing and a reduced risk of your product getting cut out. Third, when you use a 4-3 aspect ratio, you only have to worry about the left and right of your images getting cut out when Etsy goes to crop to a 5-4 or a square. If you use a 5-4, you have to account for a small portion of the top, bottom, left, and right of the image getting cut out when Etsy makes adjustments. Listen close. This is my recommendation for all of your listing photos, not just the first thumbnail image. Why? Because Etsy allows shoppers to preview your listing video and additional photos without actually clicking into the listing. All they have to do is simply swipe left. This feature is available in search and on your shop homepage. It's important to note that for this feature to be effective, you will need to follow Etsy's image recommendations for all of your listing photos and not just the first thumbnail image. This video covered a lot of information. So to help make it a little easier on you, I created a downloadable guide and a few Canva templates to help you properly frame your photos to avoid your product getting cut out in search. You can grab your free updated copy of my complete guide to sizing images for Etsy by going to sizingimagesforetsy.com or by clicking the link in the description below this video. If you've already snagged this freebie, make sure you grab the updated version with the new Canva templates. Please take the time to like this video if you found it useful and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to learn more about taking your own high quality product photos. See you next time.